Now it is a sad day today, and you're probably asking why. Well, the registration for the Nismo is due today. Not only is it due today, but it also needs a smog. So we might be uninstalling everything in this video to go get a smog. I don't know. Stay tuned. Man, I say it all the time, but this color is so fire. Like, and what's so crazy is I never planned on actually getting this color. I never knew that when I got it, this was the rarest color. But they only made this color in 2013 on these cars. And in my opinion, it is the best color that comes on these cars. But the ST or the Nismo, which one are we taking the lake to? I asked you guys, I asked TikTok, and I asked Instagram. On TikTok, literally like 90% of people said to bring the Z. And then I think on YouTube it was tied. But the ST, there's nothing wrong with it. We can literally just put gas in it and drive it up there. The Nismo. How many noise is coming from the differential? I think that's the conclusion that we came up with. It's tire, smog, and registration. So that's a lot for a car that's going to, up against a car that literally needs no work done. Now, if you guys haven't watched the ride along video that I did with my mom in the last video, make sure that you do so. And if you've watched it, then you know that our under panel clip fell off. So we gotta jack the car up and put that clip back on there. Cause if not, at high speeds, you get that da 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 and it's really annoying. Like, really annoying. I am actually not gonna lie to you guys. There's times where I come out here and I look at this car and I just sit and look like, Bro, this is literally one of the sickest cars that has ever been manufactured. But if I'm being honest though, it's 100% the color that makes this car look like that much better. So like I explained in the last video, this is the under panel right here. Now without this under panel, you will not have a front bumper because it literally supports it 100%. Well, there's actually a rip in it. So I'm assuming at high speeds, air gets in here and it rips out these clips that's supposed to go right here, it's supposed to line up. And so we have to replace that because without that, it flops and it literally sounds like we have a blown engine. So we got to do that. And while I'm under here, I'm going to make sure that these V-bands are tightened. And we actually got to get that uh, that crossover pipe right there refabricated because it's just that, it's just not working out. I don't I'm, don't know if I'm the only person that has this issue, but like it hits on everything. I haven't hit it in a while because I haven't driven this car on a freeway for that reason, but it literally hits on everything. So we're going to get that like refabricated because it's just not working out for us. Now comes the part that we've all been waiting for. Sweet cold start. Oh yeah. Smell that E85. Okay, now here's the problem. This car is extremely fun to drive. Like, this is by far the most fun I've ever had driving one car. And you're probably wondering, like, how is that a problem? Like, that should be a good thing. Well, the thing is, every single car that I get in or every single car after this car, I'm always gonna compare it to this car. A VHR boosted, making over 500 horsepower, well over 500 horsepower. It's just, it's, and if I had to say, if I had one wish, just one wish, like if somebody came down and told me you have one wish and one wish only, it would be to make every fly in this world go extinct. 100%, that'd be my one wish. Bro, they just serve no purpose, they're freaking annoying. Like I know, if you are a car guy, you work on your car in the summer, 100 degrees outside and you're in the garage, you've experienced working on your car with the garage open and flies just flying all around you on your leg, it's freaking annoying. What is their purpose? I don't understand it. All jokes aside, hear me out. Doesn't that look like blood? I don't know, just saying. The only issue that we have with this car, not really an issue, but it's just kind of like, a, I guess aesthetically when I pop the hood, is this little burnt mark on the turbo, but it's only because it sits really close to the hood. So I ended up putting like this, like kind of heat protecting little patch right here so that it doesn't like burn a hole through my hood. But that's the only thing that, kind of annoying, but it is what it is. I mean, it kind of wipes off easily, you just kind of kind of scrub it. But other than that, this car is perfect. It's too bad that we have to uninstall everything just to get it smog. It's truly very, very, very disappointing. Like I told you guys, I never really use high boost, and every pull that we do is always on low boost, unless I say so. So we're gonna do a high boost pull. Ready? One, two, three, go! Oh, Mr. Gary, guys. Bro, 
this car is truly insane. Like, when I tell you guys I get butterflies and I'm the driver, I'm not lying. This car is insane. And I always gotta put this disclaimer out there because I'm not claiming that this is the fastest car out there, but it's 100% far from slow. I will say that. And my clutch is slipping, so that's why you guys get that little weird, sound like I'm hitting the rev limiter, but it's not, the clutch is slipping. A four, a stage four clutch slipping. Imagine that. All right, let's try this again, but without me missing a gear. Actually, I have to let that truck go up there because we'll catch up real quick. Are you ready? Can't do a first gear pull because we won't go anywhere. One, two, three, and go! So something I learned the hard way with this car is putting gas in it. So actually nickel and diming it, meaning like putting $20 here, $30 here, that actually costs you more than actually just filling up on empty. So how I learned this is the fact that, so if I fill this car up, I can drive about around like 60 miles before it gets on half a tank, right? If I fill this car up on half a tank, it's anywhere between like 35 to $40, right? But if I fill it up when it's on E, it's like 60 bucks. So if you do the math, and I, it may be the same thing, I don't know, but it just seems like you're wasting more money, like you're just constantly putting gas. If you fill it up every time on half a tank versus waiting until it's on E, you're only spending like, it's like around like $62 on E to fill this car up. So I learned that the hard way. And it's like, now that I'm learning that, it doesn't seem that bad. I don't know, even though I only get like 150, 160 miles on a full tank. It's better than freaking 60 miles, right? All right, one last, one last pull, one last pull, and go. Thank God we have brakes. Oh. This car is insane, bro. Like, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. Yeah, that's... It's one of the reasons why I think we need a differential. And we're driving by a cop, so we're just gonna close those valves. And we're stuck. Let's go. He was right over there at the stop, the stoplight. This is why we have a valve controlled exhaust, guys, for this exact reason. Because you hear that? Completely stuck. Other than, of course, the turbo flutter, but you know, they don't know what that is. They probably think that, I don't know. That's the AC releasing its, its, I don't know, liquid. Okay, 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 okay. One last one, just one last one, one, one last one. We're done. Now, as much as I want to drive this car to Lake Tuo, and trust me, I really want to drive it because a coupe driving down to Lake Tahoe, come on, that's like a whole entire vibe. But the responsible adult person in me is telling me that it's not a good idea just because, you know, we're still dealing with some stuff on the back end with this car. We got to uninstall everything for that smog. And so it's just it's it's not a good idea so with that being said we are going to be taking the st uh that's kind of why i haven't been driving it because i want to make sure that this car is somewhat at 100 percent um you know obviously with this car being not my daily driver but i do drive this car it doesn't just sit here even though it kind of just sits here but like i do drive it right so of course there's gonna be like some falls here and there it's not a hundred percent like i tell you guys all the time this rear quarter panel that is my biggest insecurity with this car but again we'll get it fixed one day um, but I just really wanted to make sure that this car was good. I'm gonna give it a wash uh, Obviously, I'll wax it. I'm most likely gonna polish those wheels make sure everything is good But yeah, this is the car that we're gonna take to Lake Tool. These wheels with the caliber color combo is so sick, bro Like I am still not over it. I don't think I'll ever be it's just it's it just looks too good You guys want to see something scary? This wasn't latched down Now it's latched down Good thing this car has two latches because, yikes, that could have flew out and uh, hit that window and that roof and 
than a whole catastrophe. Now, another reason why I have reasons to believe this is probably not a good idea to drive this car to Lake 2 well is because I took one for the team during Monterey Car Week. Kind of, not really. I know there's other people who got pulled over, but we got a safe rep. And I know if I were to take this car to Lake 2 well, the most stock looking car there, I'd get pulled over. Even though we have a valve controlled exhaust, and once I close the valve, it's literally stock. Like, there's no sound really that comes out of this car. I'd still get pulled over, right? I just, I just know. I just know. All right, I have a question for you guys. I have a little twist in this video. So, let's say hypothetically you knew you were moving away, right? And hypothetically you knew that you were only going to be able to take two cars, even though taking all three wasn't out of the equation, two was most likely the case. Which one would you take? Would you take the Z or would you take the ST? Okay, but hear me out. Next video, we test which car gets from zero to 60 quicker, the Z or the ST. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna end the video right here because I have to go and install everything on the Z because we gotta get ready for our smog. Whoa! Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball, I know I make it look easy. Yeah, Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say, I got him picked another pieces. Gotta mean you really playing with your life, I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new ever about to snap back, you ain't fitting for it cause you all care.